Okay, five times four times three times two times one. Six factorial, we know can be written like that. Right, that means six factorial could be written as six times five factorial. Really useful with algebra. So numbers, absolutely fine. You can rewrite seven factorial as seven times six factorial, but with algebra, it's much, much harder. Right, n plus three factorial can be written as n plus three, n plus three minus one, n plus three minus one minus one. So n plus three times n plus two, times n plus one, all the way, always ending in one. Same, n minus five factorial, n minus five, times n minus five minus one, which is n minus six, and so on, always ending in one. Now that means if you take two completely different algebraic factorials, so say I was looking at n plus five factorial over n plus three, I spotted that when I was right, if I write out n plus five factorial, it's n plus five times n plus four times n plus three times n plus two plus n plus one, n, n minus one, all the way down to one. But I've spotted I can rewrite it like this. n plus five times n plus four, times n plus three factorial. That, when I'm dividing by n plus three factorial, ends up with that, which of course I can expand. Right, binomial coefficients. Do this, you did this and you, in the lecture. Right, you know that ncr means n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. So with numbers, totally straightforward. You can see you've got 10 factorial, and your bottom two numbers must both add to the top number. Okay, so 10 factorial over seven factorial, three factorial. Now I've done a little cancelling there, but with numbers, it's not an issue. You've got your calculator. Right, algebra, algebra much more important. So what we've got here, NC5, so that's N factorial over five factorial times N minus five factorial. So if you write out your n factorial, you know that's going to go on until you get to 1. But spotting you've got n minus 5 factorial on the denominator, you rewrite your n factorial like this. And so you get a really neat cancel with your n minus 5 factorial. Okay, and if you had 10CR, that's the only way you can do that. There's no way you can simplify it. Right, question six on paper two that you're doing, that you were given in revision this week, uses this skill. So the first part is reasonably straightforward. You know that uh, it asks you to find the coefficient of x to the power four. So you take your three x to the power four, you know the powers of each term have got to add to your value of n, which in this case is 10, and the bottom number of your choose is always the power, the same as the power of your second term. So that's how you would work that first one out there. It does say coefficient, so you should strictly give it the actual coefficient. Right, part two is where your factorial stuff takes off. It tells you that the coefficient of x to the seven is the same as the coefficient of x to the eight. So to get the x to the seven term, you know your, your 2x has to be to the power of 7, so it's n choose 7. And what's made this question doable is the fact that the other term in the bracket is 1, and 1 to any power is 1. So that's your first one. Your x to the power 8 term, you can see my powers add to n, and this number 8 is the same as this number 8 here. Right, working those out. So n choose 7 is obviously n factorial over seven factorial, n minus seven factorial. Again, one is to any power is just one, so two x to the seven. And your n choose eight is your n factorial over eight factorial, n minus eight factorial. And now all I'm gonna do is apply some algebra. It is looking at the coefficients, so it isn't actually needing those x's in there. So all I've done is raise my twos to those powers. Right, first thing tells you my coefficients are equal. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide by 
n factorial, okay? I'm gonna divide by n factorial. So here, um, if I divide by n factorial, I've then rearranged. Now, I've looked ahead to make my life easier. I know that n minus seven factorial will be n minus seven times n minus eight times n minus nine and so on, or n minus seven times n minus eight factorial. So what? that's how I've seen it when I've rearranged it. So I've just done quite a lot of cross multiplying, all straightforward algebra. I've then put in my calculator 128 times 8 factorial over 7 factorial times 256. I've then rewritten n minus 7 factorial as n minus 7 times n minus 8 factorial and my n minus 8 factorials have cancelled. That's left me with a rather neat n minus 7 is 4, so n is 11.